Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel GetSS.net and I am back again with another interesting video. So in today's video, I am going to talk about top 5 Gmail settings that every user must know. Okay, so if you have a Gmail account, you must know about these useful settings that you can use every day. Okay, so you can also visit our website that is GetSS.net and you will find a number of troubleshooting blogs and articles about gmail so you can go through them as well right so we will talk about only five top settings as gmail has a large number of settings okay so if you like this video or if you found this video helpful please do subscribe to our channel so that i can come up with some more interesting videos right so so we are going to talk about top 5 gmail settings okay that you must know about and even i am using those settings and that makes it easy to manage your email or it saves your time okay so first of all you have to just log into your gmail account and you will find all the settings under under the settings section right it's very simple we will see one by one what settings can we use to improve our emailing experience right so let's begin first of all you have to log into your gmail accounts and once you are logged into your gmail account you have to go to the settings section click on the settings icon right here and then click on settings option now the first setting we are going to talk about is this one maximum page size okay so this shows the number of maximum emails or conversations you see on a page so right now it is set to 50 so one whenever we log into our gmails we see 50 conversations on a single page but you can change this number as well okay so we never know we also we can change that right so you can set any number 10 15 20 25 any number but let's see first go to inbox now here you can see the conversations i have on the very first page and the total number is 50 right so we can change this 50 to any number we want so let's go back to settings and now on clicking the drop down box you will see a number of units that is 10 15 20 25 50 100 so you can set any number you want but that will also affect the speed of loading of emails right so if you will select number 10 the emails will load quite quickly and on moving further like 15 20 25 the the speed will start decreasing right so you can any choose any number you can even choose 100 but it will take time so let's choose 10 for now and click on save changes now as you can see on the very first page i have only 10 emails and it loaded quite quickly now you can also change it to 100 okay click on save changes and now if you will try loading it will take a bit more time right so now you can see 100 emails on the very first page right so you can use this setting in the given way right so that is quite helpful i think and you can change it whenever you want okay so you can change any number 10 15 20 25 100 whatever you want right so it will make emails to appear quicker now the second setting we will talk about is undo send so wherever you send an email and you want to cancel it you can undo it within a fixed time limit okay so we can also undo emails so the send cancellation period it has been set to five seconds for now so it is for five seconds and within five seconds you have to cancel the email so that it doesn't get received by the receiver right so let's try this and I'm going to reply to one of my emails okay and then we will undo it as you can see on the screen I have typed a reply and I have clicked on send so now it's sending and message send you can see undo so clicking on undo will not send the email as you can see the on the screen the email has been unsent okay 
and now it will you can change the reply if you want okay so if you will not click on undo within five seconds it will automatically disappear and and you will not be able to use this feature as you can see on the screen the option has disappeared so now i cannot undo the email right but you can also change this time limit if you want okay so let's see how we can do that now again go back to settings now here you can change the time limit that is 5 10 20 30 so you can set any time limit you want to undo emails for example i have set 30 seconds and now click on save changes okay so again i will show you how you can use this option so again i will reply to my email and then i will use this option okay so click on send and now here is the option so it will stay there for 30 seconds and after 30 seconds you will not be able to use it so make sure you set a time limit that is convenient for you and if you will not click on the option it will disappear and we cannot do anything after that right so yes it's here for 30 seconds i guess Okay, now it has been disappeared. So 30 seconds are over. Now you cannot use this option, right? So that was the second useful option. You can use, I mean the Gmail settings, second useful Gmail settings, right? Okay, so now we will talk about the third Gmail setting that is sent and archive. So using this option, you can archive the emails or the replies that you send to someone. Okay, so you can select the show option to get that button in reply box. Okay, and you can even hide this option. So we will see how we can use this option. Okay, let's go to inbox and I will reply to one of my emails. So here you can see only send options. So right now I cannot use this option. Okay, again I will go back to settings and I will select the show option. That is show send and archive button in reply. Okay, so then click on save changes. And again I will show you how you can use this option. So open any email. And you will when you will try to reply you will get the option send and archive okay so now you can see this option and you can use it so first of all let's type any reply click on the option and now you can see that the email will not appear in the inbox okay so the email has been disappeared from the inbox and it has been archived okay now if you want to see that email you have to click on more and then click on all mail so that's the email you were looking for right so the email will not appear in the inbox and only in the all mail section right so this is how you can use the archive option right so now the next feature we are going to talk about is um, so we have talked about send and archive next option we will talk about are the nudges right here are the nudges so the nudges are type of suggestions that you get when you are typing something or the words that appear when you type an email address or any word you want to find in an email okay so that's our those are nudges okay so I have already turned them on so they will suggest the email address whenever you will type a single letter right so let's see how you can use them so I'm composing an email so as soon as i type the letter it has suggested me an email address okay so that's called nudges so whenever you get a suggestion for typing a letter or character that's our nudges okay so you can turn them on or if you want you can turn them off right so that's how you can use nudges and the last important setting we will talk about our button labels okay so button labels can be in two forms icons or text okay so you can select any one you want currently it is set for text okay so let's see how they appear so go to inbox open any email and as you can see the buttons are shown in the text form okay 
so you can convert them into icons as well from the settings so select the icons box and click on save changes so now you will see the buttons in the form of icons and not text as you can see right here on the screen all the text has been converted into icons okay so these were the most important five gmail settings that i have uh, explained to you in this video and if you find find this video helpful please do subscribe to our channel and if you want more gmail settings if you want a video on an other gmail settings you can mention down in the comment box below so i will make a video on that as well and thank you for watching please like our videos Thank you.